Hello and welcome back to La Casa della Tiara, my very own franchise zoo that you guys are also helping with a lot by giving in some blueprints. And honestly, unfortunately, this is my second recording today because my first one just broke down when I was trying to end the episode because the it appears that the um, protesters completely crash my game. I cannot even click on them. I cannot do anything. They're still wandering around in my zoo. Um, I, I, I can, if, if I click on one of them, I cannot see anything. And if I try to do something with them, the game crashes. And I have no idea why. I'm just going to look for them. At the moment, I cannot spot them. But they, they are somewhere around in the zoo. I'm just going to avoid to click them. Um, while doing so, in the first episode, let me just give you a little catch up on what we did. So I completely changed the uh, African habitat, as you can see. It's not yet done, but I completely uh, enlarged that, made sure that they have more space. Um, it's still not enough space. We still have to investigate into that one. Uh, but yeah, I improved the overall uh, the overall rating for education and stuff. Uh, I don't know why it was going down now, but as you can see, education is in the green now. The rest, I don't know what exactly is the problem here, but yeah. Um, so a lot of things uh, have happened, uh, and I've, I've, I've kind of also changed the lemur habitat a little bit. This one in the middle, the bridge is gone, because they always appear to escape here. There's no info why they escape, but they do escape, so I kind of scrapped that. Um, I made sure to sell some of the animals that caused some issues and overall it all runs like a little bit better I put down a lot more education boards here and there and I prepared our black bear habitat Which is going to be built over here now my issue was the first one um, that I, I kind of wanted to create a uh, lovely habitat for the forms in black bear which is going to be um, in our imagination uh, more like a lip bear and so more jungle-ish inspired habitat uh, but therefore I just want to make sure that I um, yeah I already have something in place for them um, and last time I tried to bring them in you know what I just do I pause the game and we're just going to prepare the habitat first of all uh, and I will try to keep this episode now super super short and quick mainly because you know i recorded that in my lunch break and it was gone so i'm doing that now later after work so it's just before i'm going to upload this um and so i don't want to keep it too long because I still have to do some stuff i still want to go outside and enjoy the sun because in germany it's uh it's fairly sunny today fairly great weather so i want to enjoy the summer summer weather a little bit tomorrow should be worse um a lot more thunderstorms and stuff are uh, forecasted so i do want to make sure that i make the best of it today um yeah but you know we'll uh, we will just have some some little fun in here uh before i put down the animals oh, actually, i actually i will already let them bring them in because i need to know how much space and stuff they need so yeah let's quickly do this animals uh because that's that's just quickly before i edit them in uh the game crashed and hello no no just not all the null monitors there you go uh, we have um, uh, Chunhua. Chunhua is going to be now part of our zoo. We also uh, do have our very own friend Otso. For those of you who followed my very character series know that this was one of our very first animals. Otso was a very um, nice baby. We get one of the first babies we had in our zoo born. And uh, yeah, he was, he was a great one. And now uh, we get the whole family back into the zoo. Just gonna hit play as long as we wait until they are delivered. And uh, I'm also going to prepare some of the uh, natural barriers here just to make sure that the animals are not escaping right away. Uh, I have no idea what exactly is happening, but I'm just going to, you know, make some, some initial stuff here. I think that's, that's already it, whether they can escape or not. I'm just going to put them down. I know that they don't care about these rocks, so I'm... I'm really just going to put this down as it goes and then I can also put the construction down. I did already do this. I unfortunately I lost this in uh, in the crash. So there was already a little bit of a base building I'm going to build here. Uh, but you know, honestly speaking though, it was fairly simple anyway. So it's not, you know, that I spent hours of my life into that which were gone. That's uh, definitely not the case. Uh, but yeah, so while one giraffe was gone, the other one seems to be just on its way. Um, so I'm going to press F again uh, to make sure that we do not have the angle snap all the time. So this is where it's straight. And now we can just uh, build the shape of the tree again. I think this time I'm just going to make that a little bit steeper. So that the shape of the tree will be a tad bit thinner to the top. Because last time it was a bit wide. Uh, which is not too bad though. But it looked kind of weird. So... 
Yeah, I just want to make sure that this time it is a little bit more realistic. There come the bears. Um, I will definitely, hopefully, uh, be ready for them soon. So let's let's just wait until they're bring brought down. I'm not entirely sure what kind of uh, space requirements and stuff they really have. I know, I know that I have some, but look at that, a two-headed bear. There you go. It's gonna wait for the small one too. Okay, stop it. That should be enough. They are running like if there is some space to escape. There isn't, okay. So let's have a look. So in terms of space, oh, they just have enough. That is interesting. Okay, but it's good to know that they do have enough because they won't be overpopulated anyways. They do have a baby in here. Social group is adult is two. That's fine. They will get some climbable area. They will get some more grass shot. What about the plants though? So they like tropical and temperate. That is very good indeed. That is very good indeed. Okay, before we do anything else, I just keep on building because I want to make sure that I do have the right kind of sizes in my head. Also, let me put that counter next to me. We're six and a half minutes in. Okay, good to know. Uh, keep it short, Rudy. Keep it short. I know. The, the, you, you guys know me, so you know that potentially that will never happen to keep... What is that? Uh, that is, <laughs> I keep it short, but maybe, maybe I am going to surprise you today. Who knows? Okay, so... Just gonna delete this and just do the rotation. Do the rotation trick like that. There you go. Making that all bit look a bit more like a giant tree. Yeah, that's kind of the trunk we need. And then I did this the last time. And I think I found this fairly decent. Wait, I need to select all of them. Okay, so now that and get rid of angle snap. Just pull that a little bit more down. And then we just do the same with the upper area as well. Just, oh my god, no, 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 no. Uh, can we redo that? Yeah, so the upper area, the problem with the upper area is that I need to deselect that piece in the middle. There you go, and just do pretty much the same. And we're going to sync that. It, well, actually, that didn't work out as I was hoping, so just leave it as it is. Um, and then we just open that up. We have to kind of find how much space they need to go in, because I want to have, like, different entrance points for them. Uh, so from three sides, maybe, like this, but still keep it a trunk. I think size-wise that should work, though, but we will see. It's gonna delete this thing in the middle. Awesome. And now we are just going to give them a sleeping bedding in here there you go this is what i was already figuring it'll happen but that's fine and now we're just going to use the terrain tool to slightly pull that back so it's you know just the bit in there in the middle and uh, I, you know the reason why that is i want to make sure that this is going to still be navigatable area and we can still flatten that to the center foundation to make sure that it's a little bit higher to the sides there you go just gonna smooth that out a bit more and then smooth this away. I'm just gonna be a bit more careful because I don't want to have the uh, leaves too floaty. So just, you know, just keep some stuff in the middle. That's fine. It's definitely kind of an artificial tree. I imagine that it could be a real one, like a giant one, but uh, obviously it is a, an artificial self-made one. So uh, I want to still make sure that it doesn't look too artificial. Um, and yeah, I'm also not really sure what happens with these trunks because they are all climbable um, but it's well I'm, I'm not sure if they figure that they are climbable though Let, let's quickly check oh well they do <laughs> oh damn so I don't know why where is the climbable area what do they okay so they see these things are climbable my plan is to put some rocks down here so that they cannot climb those things from down here and they have to take another route but we will deal with this now okay so first things first I want to make sure that we do give them some platforms to climb on. Um, yeah, these are these are potentially too big. So I want to make sure that they have some platforms to go. So that is one here. The other one goes there. We're just going to con connect all these platforms so that the, the guests can see them. And I, I do want to make them climb a lot. So this is the this is the idea behind that. I'm really not sure if it's going to work out or not, but. We will try our best. The problem is that we cannot get any food up here, uh, except we would put a ramp down for our staff members, but that that's gonna look very strange indeed. So we have to deal with uh, a lot of stuff that, um, yeah, they just um, can play with. Um, oops, Formosan, there you go. Uh, they can they can deal with, but they haven't. Um, they have 
no issue to refill, you know, so we can only put other stuff up here. But, you know, we will, we will, we will hopefully get this done. Okay, so first of all, um, yeah, let's unpress F because that's still not what I wanted. Okay, that's way too long. Wait, no, that's the, that's the better one. Okay, so here we go. And then, that's a fairly thick lock though. Okay, so we're just gonna connect this. And I really do hope that they take that one instead of the other one. Um, I'm gonna use the longer one over here. I guess that should be better. Yes, indeed it is. So that's what we do. Awesome, that's kind of cool. And then we just connect this one over here as well. It's gonna be connected. This, the length, yeah, I think we're just going to pull that one simply over. Problem solved, great. I'm a problem solver. There you go, just gonna connect that one here. It can be just a little bit overlapping, why not, that's fine. I'm just gonna do the same over here. Look at that, this is awesome. Even though I want to tilt that a little, it looks a little too straight, so. Yeah, just gonna do it that way. And then we're just gonna bring that one over here. Problem solved. Awesome. So that's kind of how it looks for the moment. So pretty cool for those people over here. So they see the tree, they see them climbing, and obviously I want to give them also connection to that side here so that they can also just climb into that tree from, from down here. Just gonna raise that a bit more. Not sure if it will connect, we will see that later on. Um, so yeah, these are the platforms and I'm not like super sure if I should like do it that way as well, just to give them a simple, okay, that's the, that's the wrong piece. Let me just uh, take the longer one, uh, like so. Not sure if I just do that, you know, because I mean, that's fairly simple. I think for the moment I'll do it, but I want to, I want to also connect that with a tree. So we will also put a tree in there uh, to make it look a bit better. So yeah, so let's just have all these pillars down here. Still, it's very, unrealistic because that's definitely not stable the way it is <laughs> not at all uh, but yeah so we're just gonna pull that to the front awesome so let me just quickly check if they can climb these things and if they will is this one just doing that no that would have been quite ridiculous in how quick they can connect all right but it looks fairly good even though they seem not to be able to go to the inside here which i'm not too sure what that is okay we we can definitely try if it is because of these things that just delete one more maybe to these either sides here again i'm i'm not sure if it's if, if that was the issue and if that was the issue the small one should be able to yeah the small one is and the big ones are now as well okay now that's fine we can just keep it that way no please just don't climb here that would be no 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 just no uh, see that is what i wanted to avoid mm. Okay, I, I better do put some rocks down there to make it look better. Also, I forgot to uh, wait with... Uh, uh, I should have paused the game because of the lighting issues, but yeah. Uh, no, okay, as we've... Okay, let me just speed up the game because I hate that lighting. I really do hate this. And yeah, what is happening here? Oh my god, look at that bugging. Okay, so yeah, you can, you can take that route, that's fine. Um, I'm just... Okay, before we continue, I'm just going to slap down a whole bunch of these rocks just to make sure that they do not bog down here into this ground i really do hate this it looks it looks awful it looks awful makes the game look worse than it is and i no i just i just don't want this okay i just don't want this to happen i really do hope that this is enough to provide them from just bugging into the tree it's gonna put a few more here awesome let's let's see what happens yeah yeah blah 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 let's just okay so what is your traversable area you just not tell me just not tell me okay what about you oh, yeah, okay. you you do tell me okay you can go up there it's fine space wise they're already on <laughs> okay crazy okay um why is it still so dark can it still get a bit brighter please what time is it though eight oh god so early in the morning okay see there comes the light they are climbing a bit that's nice they yeah well whatever okay so i just i want to have some better lighting guys come on just do it do the lighting. Hey, there's your own sleeping space over here, and you are just going around down there. What is what is that weird stuff going on? Shall I put you something else down here? There's no reason for you to go here? What is that? Okay, so we can just put in Formison. We did. Okay, I'm not going to put like a bobbin enrichment here as well. There you go. You have that one in, on top here. And I'm also going to put like a scent marker, if that works, which it doesn't. 
Uh, is there anything else I can put down here? I can't put that one. I could put like a card box if, if that's needed. Um, there you go. Okay, lighting wise, lighting wise, I'm nearly, I'm nearly happy. Okay, let's let's do it quickly like that. Oh my, oh my lord. Okay, so that's fairly interesting. Um, okay, but first of all, uh, they were Asia. Let me just quickly check again. So nature, it is uh, Asia tropical temperate. Okay, that's that's fairly good. Let's quickly do this. So biome is temperate and tropical, and the continent is Asia. So that's what we have to play with, and we go in here, and I think. There is a whole bunch of cool stuff we can use that is fairly good. So we've got all the palm trees, obviously. We can use the common ash tree, which I like. Because that one is a fairly bushy one, which I like. Oh, and we have that one. That is that is even better. Okay, so that's cool. Just gonna put this one. I'm I'm not gonna okay, so no, no, no. Let's let's do something else. With the K-pop tree. That is um amazing because that one helps me creating some cool stuff over here yeah that, well, that works just gonna use this one here and then i'm not sure if there's a shorter version of it was that already the shortest version ah okay unfortunately it was um then we have to do this with another tree maybe we could, yeah that's the shorter fig tree that should work and then just like move that a little bit like so awesome and then we're just going to create some branches with the fig tree that should work definitely um, like so, and then we're just gonna rotate this around a little bit. We can also use that straighter one, just a bit higher up here. Even though, wow, that is that's fairly high though. Maybe we just straighten that a little. And then I don't necessarily like the roots to be in there, so let's just yeah, that's that's the shorter one that works a lot better. Um, look, I mean, look at look at that. It, it's starting to look like something. We do need also to have something to cover up this ugly mess in the back here. So, it's gonna do it that way and push it all the way higher. You know what? We just do it that way. So we just have some some more leaves to the back to make it really look like a giant tree. That's what I'm what I'm opting for. Also, we do have some roots coming out from the lower part here. Look at that. So that's gonna make this whole thing look a bit better. And then we can give this also like an overgrown root, even though, even though that one is like greenish, but it, I think it kind of moves together with the, uh, with the stones down there. So we're just gonna, this root goes here, and then we can use that one or abuse that one, if you will, to just create another, another root sticking out here. It's uh, fairly much lower. That's better. We can, yeah, we can still have that. I don't care too much. I think that's fine. Just like another root there. Um, that's nice. And some bushy stuff on top as well. So we just use that one, I guess. I think this one is actually fairly cool to be used like this. So there you go. I don't want to make this inner part too weird looking, but this should work. Uh, let's have a look how it looks from all the sides. Okay, that looks fairly good. And then um, is there any other tree I can use? I like that one too, um, but this is like more a tree that kind of goes in that area anyways so yeah just some of them to round off the overall experience as i said i want to make sure that this is a little bit more connected to trees so why not have this tree connect to that platform um we can just raise the bottom part anyhow so yeah there you go i'm i'm not sure if it yeah it's definitely it's gonna be definitely able to escape here so yeah we have to do something about this but yeah that's fine uh we'll find a solution for this like another tree there i think i want to just have another one ah the positioning is quite is rather weird because uh mm, even though i want to have it a bit more overgrown I think I'm just gonna go for the other fig tree because that one is non-climbable and offers a lot more space and uh, a lot more jungle-ish vibe and still is not climbable. Uh, sometimes you have to also look at that. Yeah, I like that. So this is what people requested. They wanted to have a kind of treehouse design. It's absolutely not realistic at all. Um, and it's also too small. You know what we can do in order to solve two problems at once? We just added that barrier here to the back and just kind of increase the size of the habitat by a fair bit uh, to give them also some privacy. There you go. And we are just going to 
you know, just take the terrain here and pull it all back. There we go. No one, no one does complain anymore. That should all be good. Uh, we do have these platforms. That's fine. Now uh, they were also moaning about the terrain, which we can quickly, quickly solve by putting down a whole bunch more gr short grass, which is great because it's it's like not looking super, super nice indeed. So we're just going to give them a lot more short grass in between. Look at that, lovely, lovely. We can just do a lot more short grass, making that look all a bit more jungle-ish, green-ish, nice-ish. <laughs> so there you go. This is it. Awesome. We can, you know, also give them some more rock to the sides. They they like the rock here. That's fine. All good. All great. So that doesn't look too bland. I think it's all fine. That's all good. So we do need some uh, some type of little branches that go out here. So I've, nope. So can I just like have that one? I just want to make sure that this doesn't look too too simple. I think that's fine. That's cool. And then also uh, my question would be, can we have, ah, uh, dang. Okay, maybe we can use that one. I just want to make sure that this doesn't look too unconnected. So we're just gonna have that one here, right. And we also put a palm tree down. I didn't even know that the Formiston black bear is uh, such a tropical animal anyways. Honestly, I did not know that. Me being stupid again. Stupid. Okay, cool. So let's let's put the, all the enrichment items in we need so that they hopefully do walk a little bit more. We can have that scratch post. Uh, I'm not sure if that works on here. Um, let me poke that one. First of all, we give them the ball over here. Um, I'm wondering if I make... Yeah, okay. You know what? I just increased the size of that platform here. So that... Yeah, just kind of drag it out towards here and then we give them a scratch post that goes there. I'm not sure if that works, to be honest. No, really, I have no clue if that does work. But yes, we just try it and then Habitat give them another few things. I mean, obviously, they will need uh, some kind of stuff down here as well um, where the keepers won't go. We can also give them these wind thingies in the back here so they also walk there um, the tree forage thing can go down in this corner and then uh, let him just you know in general we need to give them also a drink which the pipe goes I would love to put the pipe up here because they definitely go for the pipe so uh, yeah no I mean the pipe goes into the tree I think hey can I okay I just need this uh, this thing there you go I'm just gonna put this one here because hopefully they, they will just go here and uh, enjoy the water there. If not, I'm just going to give them a water bowl and a food thing just below the people. Because I want to make sure that they, um, just food tray large, again, have both things just fairly close to each other. That's good. And then let's go back to nature and see that we can slap something in between here to make sure that the people have a bit of a nicer experience as well. Uh, it's not really the tropical tree I want, so... Uh, I mean... That one works as well. No, that's, that's climbable, right? No, it's not. It's not. Okay, so that's... Oh, that's good. It's not climbable. So that's, we can actually use that one. That's fine. This is fine. So... Yeah, we also could use the smaller fig tree here. Just to make sure they have a bit more... Yeah, that's nice. Look at look at that, guys. Look at this. 23 minutes. That's not bad at all. Okay, let's let's see what happens now because I built so much. Yeah, they're all like replaced, which is fine. This one is just starting to run. I really do hope you just enjoy instead of being annoyed. Oh, look at that. Is this? Wait, no. Social stress. Animal is stressed. Okay, yeah, that is definitely because of all the people here. I'm not really sure what we can do about this, but um, oh my lord, look at look at the stress level. <laughs> Um, well, I do know what we can do about this. We will definitely rip apart this thing. I mean, that's that's gonna that's gonna happen. That's gonna happen. So see you later, guys. Uh, this is not gonna be your platform anymore. And then we are just going to pe pack like uh, some some better uh, kind of management of the people in here. I think that's better. So they do have their lovely treehouse here, and 
yeah, no, that's fine. I guess I call it a day here, guys. Um, we will definitely build some more in the next episode around this epi uh, around this this area because this is definitely um, a cool bit here and can be improved. I mean, surely this is not what you expect when I do it correctly, uh, but I can already promise you there is something really cool on its way. So um, yeah, I hope you guys are looking forward to it uh, because I do do a little break of Yosemite. There will be another Yosemite episode tomorrow though, but then someone else has taken over. Like a little like a little thing here already to give away, which is super cool. And I'm really excited uh, to, to share that with you soon. But this also means I'm going to do a little bit of a little summer project. And uh, yeah, if you want to know more about that, make sure to check out Yosemite Valley tomorrow. If you enjoyed today's episode and uh, you are a fan of what you see and you you know you just enjoy it and you haven't been subscribed yet consider doing so because that helps the channel as always and uh, yeah if you liked it let me know in the comments down below and also let me know how you like the habitat and uh, what have you done already for the formers and black bear and of course if you guys want to provide some blueprints for this project just head over to my discord put it into the dedicated thread and yeah for next time i really need a lot more education boards so if, if you guys want to provide some designs for education boards i'd be more than happy to use them anyhow that should be it for today enjoy your time everyone have a very very good uh weekend and i talk to you in the next one goodbye <laughs>